This is the time of year to enjoy a fresh, tree-ripened peach or apple. Unfortunately for growers, the brown marmorated stink bug has developed a taste for these fruits as well. So Tracy, what damage does the stink bug do to the fruit? So on apple, the stink bug injury appears as a discolored depression on the surface of the fruit, on the um, skin, and beneath we see a dry, corky area beneath. And so this is the typical uh, damage that we see at this time of the year that results from brown marmorated stink bug feeding on fruit. Which means people don't want to eat it, right? Which means it is less acceptable to our consumers, yes. The U.S. Apple Association estimates in the mid-Atlantic states the bugs caused $37 million worth of damage last year. Scientists here at the USDA Appalachian Fruit Research Station are trying to figure out how to keep the stink bugs from causing more damage. The research is geared toward understanding their behavior. We're studying the cues this insect uses, both visual and olfactory, to uh, attract and aggregate these bugs in, in terms of developing monitoring tools for this insect that growers can use to make management decisions, as well as uh, management strategies based on attract and kill type approaches. Scientists work with bugs that are raised here in a room that provides the perfect stink bug climate. These bugs live in comfy cages and are fed a well-rounded diet. This allows scientists to experiment on bugs that are the same age and sex. And so that's primarily why we use our colony. Certainly, you know, lots of other questions can be asked, but primarily that's what we're doing. It's a source for known individuals for experiments. Traps set in orchards help scientists figure out how many stink bugs are outside and what stage of development they're in. Entomologist Starker Wright empties a trap that contains bugs caught in one day. What I was doing with that trap is assessing the effects of the trap mechanism and visual response, uh, where the, the visual stimulus is a black pyramid which simulates a, a tree trunk, uh, which the immature bugs like to crawl up and then the, the trapping mechanism is an inverted funnel jar at the top of the trap. The stink bugs are then sorted according to age and sex. That helps scientists figure out whether the response to the traps varies depending on how old they are and whether they are male or female. Brown marmorated stink bugs feed on at least 300 plants. With no natural predator, their population has exploded in recent years. What we've been learning is that corn is also a good host for this insect, both sweet corn as well as field corn. And so what we're seeing in uh, corn and what our colleagues and some of the other universities have been finding is that they feed not only on the leaves, also on the stalks, on the tassels, and ultimately through the husk on the corn, developing corn kernels themselves. On this uh, ear of corn, what we can see is the damage from brown marmorated stink bug feeding distinctly on some of these kernels here at the uh, mid part of the cob itself where the stink bug has fed directly through the husk on the developing kernel of corn. Scientists hope the experiments they're doing here and at other research facilities will help them devise a plan to control the bugs so they don't further damage our food supply. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Cecilia Mason in Jefferson County.